All right, y'all. So I wanted to talk a little bit more VV and Omi in this video. Obviously, a lot of people didn't actually watch my last video and just had opinions. And I don't I don't mind, to be honest. This is for those of you who actually do take the time to watch my opinions, listen to the things that I have to say, hear my thoughts. And you all kind of know me, know the way that I think, know how I feel. Um, at the end of the day, some people will only ever see headlines. Some people will hear and see what they want to hear and see. That's not the people that I actually care to entertain or care to communicate with or even associate with whatsoever. I am really looking to have a network and community of people with the same or similar mindset as myself, like really driven, really want to understand what the opportunity is, really wants to take advantage and build generational wealth and have financial freedom, get out of the rat race, really stop being a slave to these systems that, you know, that that's keeps us all enslaved. And yeah, so when it comes down to VV and this project, Ecomi, I have taken a step back in a sense that I'm not putting more money into it. I'm still holding my bag. But the thing is, I'm not about to prepare for 10 years down the line today when there's opportunities today that you could be investing in and getting way more returns. I just got 200% return last week. And that's just the opportunities that's out there in a the broader crypto space. And so many people aren't even open to realizing, bro, while VV does have potential, while it's a great project, while it may actually go somewhere, they they may, may figure out some way to make VV work the way that it was intended to work. There's a lot of stuff out here. There's a lot of problems being solved out here in the broader space. There's a lot of money being made. There's a lot of opportunity out there. And it's like people don't realize this or people don't care. But I'm an investor and I know a lot of other investors are here. So basically what I am want to, what I do want to announce is that my Patreon is back. My Patreon group is back. I will be posting in my Patreon daily, very, very frequently. I invest every single day. I literally invest every single day. I do side hustles. I do a lot of different things. I haven't just been away doing nothing. I've been studying. I've been learning. I've been improving myself. And I've also still been talking to friends and people way smarter than me who's been putting me on to different opportunities and putting me on to different things where I've been using these things to make money. And I, I realized that my content here has kind of become like stagnant and stale because it's not like I really enjoy it. There's nothing to talk about when it comes to VB. Nothing that's impressive, nothing that's important, nothing that's even inspiring to me. I know for a lot of people, certain things has to be, but it's like, it's, it's, not, it's not that great to me. I believe that there is so much potential out here and there's so much to be looking forward to and the broader space is actually exciting. AI technology, where we're going with gaming, what what's like where everything as a whole is gonna be going. And this could actually be good in some areas for Vivi as well. But like I said, it's gonna take them a long time to actually develop and get anywhere. It's a lot more qualified teams out here actually getting stuff done, making stuff work. It's a lot more qualified teams out here doing an amazing job. Um, and yeah, like the, the, that's more so what I've had my eye on. Um, and I've actually been every single day, me and my friend, like what we'll do is when we're outside working out or something like that, we'll send each other pictures. We'll be like, yo, you, you're not getting to it hard enough, bro. You, you lazy. And then he'll send me a picture. I'm like, bro, look what I'm doing right now. Same thing. We working. We'll send each other pictures of our food and stuff like us eating healthy. And then we'll send each other, yo, I just invested in this. I just invested in this. And this is the type of energy and environment that I've been in where it's like all positivity, all pushing one another. It's like, it's all geared towards being the first millionaires in our family, being financially free, having the discipline to maintain the success once it comes, because that's an issue as well. Um, maintenance. It's, it's very, it's, it's, it's easier to get success, I feel, than it is to keep it. Because once you get it, especially if you come from nothing and you've never had it, you want to ball out. You want to have fun. You want to do all these things that you probably shouldn't do until you really got it. Like the first, the first time something blows up or the, or the first few times something blows, you don't want to just go off spinning everything. You have to maintain that discipline that got you to that level that you're currently at. And then you can get to the next level using that same discipline. Then, then treat yourself. But then make sure you, after you treat yourself, you get back to that discipline and you do it again and you keep doing it and keep going to newer heights. Like, don't let yourself fall, fall off the ladder. And I know so many people that I know from where I'm from, we struggle. We fall off the ladder a lot. And, and it's because we got a lot of real life stuff going on. I got 
people who who I know who a lot of people just constantly passing away, constant constant unfortunate situations and things like that. And that's just that's just life sometimes. So yeah, what I've been studying is really the broader space, like other cryptos that that has great opportunities. Honestly, there's massive um there, there's really massive passive income opportunities in the broader crypto space also. Now every investment comes with risk, but a lot of the stuff that we're in, like I feel like if you understand why we're in, why we dive into certain things, why we make certain decisions, you'll actually see the potential in it as well. So that's basic that's essentially what I'm looking for. I, I made a VV video recently and people in the video, oh, does this does this finally mean you'll stop talking about VV, all this stuff? And honestly, I see the comments, I read them, and I just feel bad for these people. Like truthfully, like because one one of the uh, one one things happening here, like either people think that me talking about the project and giving a shining a real light on what's going on, the truth within this project, they think that that's hurting their investment. They think that that's and, but for first off, I shouldn't be able to say a bunch of truth, and that truth hurts your investment. That should tell you that there's a red flag and a problem right there. If I can, one, they the the things that I say should not exist in the first place. But two. Am I that impactful that I can actually impact this investment to that extent? And that should also tell you something. I'm not even active. So how can I be that impactful? But it also shows the mindset of people. People will say, oh, I guess your business failed. You don't have a bed frame. Like all types of weird stuff as if I, I want a bed frame. Personally, I don't see the I don't see the the purpose of headboards and things like that. I have a bed that literally goes up and down. I have like a a remote control to control. Like I, I am happy with my bed, but they people try to throw all the little shady insults that they can, which is weird to me since my bed probably costs more than they have invested. But that's besides the point. Like that, like that, that's that's completely besides the point. the The fact of the matter is, I feel bad when people start to attack and target and feel like their investments can be damaged and stuff like that. All because they're they're not really confident in their own investments and what they have going on. It, it does it, it is sad seeing that. Um, and I feel like these are people who say, oh, they they would rather me stop posting than them just stop watching. And this is what I mean by it's important to have that discipline and self control and stuff like that because so many people can say that they dislike my content yet they can't stop watching. And it's because they know the things that I'm saying is true. They they feel it as well. And I bring them into reality when I speak. And a lot of people don't want to be in reality. They've overinvested. They've put themselves in terrible positions. And they've risked a lot to be in a risky situation. That's not how investing has to be. And I was one of them at one point in time. I was doing the same thing. And that's the thing that I I try to bring now that I never brought before. It's like... I've been where you are. You've never been where I'm at. And that's that's what it is. There should be some growth and elevation. VV doesn't grow. VV doesn't elevate. The community doesn't grow. The community doesn't elevate. The individuals aren't growing and elevating. It's like, is that the circle that you want? Is that the network that you want? Is this who you think is, is this what you think is going to get you to your best, to your best self? Like, why, what, why are you living life? Like, what, what's important in life to you? Because I feel like, for all of us to do our very best in life, we have to be the best version of ourselves. It's sitting here praising everything that goes on with VV actually going to make you the best version of yourself. Because for a lot of us, I thought that financial freedom was what VV was supposed to be for us. A lot of us have positions in VV and our positions are fine within VV. There's other opportunities out there. There's more things to learn. It's not as difficult. It's not as complicated. And you don't need as much money as you think that you would need to take advantage of some of these opportunities. I invested $20 and just, I, I literally just saw something that I thought was really good. I thought it was pretty good. I invested $20 in it a, a couple of weeks ago and it's already over a hundred bucks. So that, 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 that tells you right there, like you can take 20 bucks and turn it to a hundred bucks. What, what else, what else gives you that type of opportunity? What else gives you that type of returns? It's like, you don't need this crazy amount of money. Like you can do this at every single level. But what's the hard part about investing is the discipline, like the discipline aspects of investing. Because what the truth about it is, you could really be a great invest. Like, no matter what you make at your job, no matter what you make when you're working, you invest $20 a day, every single day. 
you commit $20 to your investing every single day, you'll look up and your life will be completely different, especially if you're not doing no foolish type of investments. Like you'll look up and your life will be unchanged without you even realizing you, you, you're doing it. And all it takes is a little bit of discipline. So yeah, and, and I know everyone maybe not in, may not be in that type of position, but I mean, you can do what you can, $5 a day. Like, it's like cer certain things, certain things people believe are unattainable isn't very unattainable at all. It's just you're not willing to be the version of yourself you need to be to attain the things that you're looking to obtain. That's that's the that's the biggest issue that I see with a lot of people. They think that things are out of their reach that's absolutely within their control to, to reach. They just have to change their bad habits that they have. And most people aren't willing to do that. It's easier to talk trash on one of my videos when I upload than it actually is to change your own circumstances. And that's why people would rather troll on the internet than change their lives. But yeah, like I said, this was pretty much me wanting to address the negativity on my last video and also point out the fact that if you are looking for real opportunities, if you are looking for a different mindset to surround yourself with a different group of people, I am working on my Patreon again. The Patreon comes with access to the Discord. I am active in Discord again. We're going to be pretty much going hard. We're going to be going hard, and I'm going to be sharing the journey. Like, there's no reason that I, I should be only te texting my closest friends in private when I could literally build a community of people. Like, the chances of someone, one of you all knowing information, especially if you're diving into stuff, studying, looking at things like I am, the chances of one of you all seeing a really, really good opportunity and it make, being able to make all of us some money in the future is very high. So put all of our heads together and there's so much opportunity out here. Like you, you never know what happens. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to like speak to the people who are most likely to be able to advance in life to the places that I personally would like to go. So or the people are already there either or. So yeah, that being said, man, um, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Let me know how you all feel. Be sure to check out the Patreon if you want to. It's $25 a month, um, and it's it's going to be worth it. Like I'm telling you, every single step of this journey is going to be, we're going to be doing it together. We're going to be going there together. I'm going to be showing you all me investing daily. I'm going to be showing you all everything that I do. And it's, it's something that's easily, easily anybody could do, and anybody could do. It doesn't take having 10, 20, 30,000 dollars and things like that. Start start putting a 10. Put a tenner in every day, bro. That's it. But anyway, that th there we have it. Let me know what y'all think and I'm going to catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.